Wow! <laughs> ah! Damn! G'day everyone, welcome to another Full Scale Fishing Adventures episode on the River Derwent today, chasing a few brim. Beautiful morning, we've um, gotten here early because we've got a nice run out tide. Super important with these fish that you have a bit of tide because as they say, no run, no fun. But um, I'm looking forward to this, so let's get into it. So what I'm starting with, Z-Man Grub in 2.5 inch in motor oil. It's got a 1 12th ounce jig head and eight pound fluorocarbon leader on four pound braid. It's just done a little ITX 1000 Cirrus seven foot two to four kilo stick, which is just a beautiful little stick for casting lures off the bank. And two to four kilo is good because it's just got that little bit of extra grunt, um, which enables you to cast that little bit further off the bank. So some really nice uh, muscle lined rock banks along here. And hopefully we can catch one of those famous Derwent brim. Pretty standard retrieve and that's why I'm using the 1 12th ounce so I can get in touch but I want to get in touch with the bottom and let it sink all the way down and you know it's down when that line goes slack and then as soon as it's down you want to give it a couple of rips and then let it sink back down again and that's what's the technical part about brim fishing and that's what I really enjoy is trying to get that lure free like sinking freely um, but still keeping in touch with it because 90% of your bites are going to be when that lure is sinking. But if you're sinking with a super slack line, you're just not going to pick up on those bites. And the same thing, if you're moving the lure all the time, they're not going to eat it as well. Actually a really nice seam here where it's got the current edge, but then this slack pocket next to it. It's really nice. Stunning morning on the Derwent. Trouty. It's not what I wanted. Little Simona. Where are the big brims at?
check my drag. Last thing I want to do is hook, her, hook into a good one and either straighten the hook or not set the hook. I just had a brown trout follow it right to the bank. It is so weird. Well, we are in Tasmania, so it's not weird, but for a mainlander, it's weird. Amazing. Just swapped over to a bloodworm grub on a um, 120th head because I've seen a couple of fish sitting right close to the edge in shallow so I'm just going to work in a bit closer and see if I can't nail one of them. I did see a bit of a disturbance on the water over here that I'm pretty sure was a tail of a brim so rather than casting out I think my plan is just to work along slowly and see if I can't get one of these edge fish Tight like it was a brim, but eh, just another salmon. Got me excited for a second. That was wicked. That was just so cool and so worth waiting for. <laughs> oh, I just came along, it's been a slow morning, and then I made that change to the small grub, the light grub, because I knew there'd be fish in the shallows, and I spotted this one sitting there, and he was just mooching along, and I put the plastic out to him, and he just raced over and smashed it. Check this guy out sitting right up in the shallows just could not refuse that grub that is so cool it's been a pretty slow morning but then to get an opportunity like that and get to see it all unfold right before your eyes so cool so stoked all right we're getting back he is pinned right in the schnoz and that just shows you like that's one of the finer gauge hooks and the penetration so good, such a nice brim. Oh, buddy. Off he goes. That was cool. Really can't stress enough how good sunglasses make things easier. I would not have seen that fish without good Polaroids. Oh my God, that was so cool. And I missed the bite and the first big run. That is so terrible. Anyway, I saw him come off of this edge here and I'd sat the plastic there and I watched him and he came over oh, and he looked and I twitched and he sort of cruised over and he looked again. And then when I twitched it again, oh, he just committed and just smashed it. That was so, so cool. Very very stoked with that that is a chunk chunk of a brim oh it's gone from a slow morning to sight casting bangers in the shallows wow oh awesome look at this one that was spectacular so cool oh man i am stoked with that fish that was just so much fun so much fun sight casting fish it just doesn't get any better Oh. It's going to stay well back from the bank because I reckon there'll be another one sitting up on the edge. Let's 
see a whole school of them there. Wow, they're flighty. Well, just as quickly as those polarizing conditions appeared, they have now disappeared. Got a lot of clouds just come over and uh, the wind's picked up. So, a bit frustrating. I got here. Oh, <laughs> Blatty. I was like, I wonder what is going on there. And it's a, not not a massive, but not a nice enough flatty. Oh, settle down, settle down. Oi. They've got the worst spikes on them. Up he goes. Well, that's cool. Salmon, flatty, brim. Happy with that. Something. Another salmon, another salmon. Plenty of salmon in the system. Do you like a grub, that is for sure. Whoa! <laughs> oh! Damn! Did that absolutely just smash that? Oh. <laughs> Feels really heavy. Oh. Oh. That was so good! I love a good brim bite. They just smack it so hard. So similar to a yellow bite. Whoa, that's a really nice fish. It's a really nice fish. Check that one out. Oh, that was very cool. That was awesome. Dude. That was wicked. Such a good bite. Check this one out. He is an absolute chunk. And didn't he just go absolutely bananas? The bite, it's like, dunk, such a good bite. Oh, very stoked with that one. Super cool. Such a good bite. The Derwin is a such a cool fishery. Off he goes. Well, that is it. We're at the bottom of the tide. Very cool morning. I enjoy it when it's tough because it makes you think. Nice to make some changes and find some success. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give us a like, leave a comment, and I will catch you all next time.